you all are new to the subject what we call as accounting as you know your subject commerce is divided into two parts consisting of what we say theory and practical the theory aspect is purely what we call as commerce while the practical aspect of your subject is what we call accounting now as the name goes by the first chapter of this accounting is related to what we call bookkeeping and accounting now first of all what is accounting we say accounting is language of business accounting is one of the features or you can say the sentences used to describe the term accounting is it is called language of business now what is actually language of business as you know for example you have studied mathematics in which you communicate the information through some addition subtractions multiplications you call it functions etc similarly in science you deal with some experimentation you deal with some observations etc etc to arrive at some conclusions similarly this is language of business meaning in the basic objective of a business is to earn profit the basic objective of the business being to earn profit so in order to earn profit we have to manufacture and sell the goods or whatever it is but all these activities have to be measured have to be measured generally you might have seen in your mathematics in some chapters you have studied based upon profit loss concepts you have calculated what is the cost price what is the selling price what is the gain what is the loss and you might have also expressed these terms in terms of what we say percentages etc similarly here this accounting helps you to keep track of your information which is of financial in nature now what is the meaning of information in financial in nature suppose if there is any dealing in which the situations can be expressed in terms of money or you will see the situations will lead to some benefit in terms of money or you might there is a possibility of losing some money etc generally we call them as monetary in nature so this language of business helps you to maintain such information in a systematic manner now it will help you to identify the information it help you it helps you to process the information it helps you to again maintain the information and also uh, it may helps you to communicate the information now language of business being all the business information or dealings which are monetary in nature are taken care by what we call as accounting now it is a fastest growing profession you know what is a profession you call doctor as a profession a professional advocate as a professional everyone overnight will not become a professional but in order to become a professional in a particular field the basic requirement would be first you need to acquire the required qualification now after the basic minimum qualification you will be acquiring what we say professional qualification like a doctor has to study medical science an advocate have to go through one uh, go and study what we call legal studies similarly an engineer has to study the engineering science etc similarly if a person want to become the accounting professional that is he wants to achieve a higher level in this profession then he needs to go for higher level qualifications which we normally identify or which you can which you hear in the society as a chartered accountant or as a company secretary or maybe a cost accountant or a management accountant so all these professions it's not that accounting didn't exist from centuries well it existed 
but it became more popular as the need to have the information in a systematic manner increased after the advent of what you say industrial revolution because the industrial revolution has changed the way the production uh, production has to be arranged the way the business is conducted earlier businesses were restricted to small individual units so here in the modern era today you have large businesses wherein by a product passes through multiple levels of production stages and the production also not being at one place it is distributed sometimes across the globe so in such situations the need for keeping track of financial information etc significantly changed therefore as a result the profession the lang the knowledge had to be developed and therefore it led to emergence of what we will later see accountancy and as such the people who have been acquiring this knowledge and so uh, giving their services have led to increase or the demand for such professionals as such today you see many many of you might be going in for later or you want to become a ca or a management accountant or a financial consultant etc so we can say it is a fastest growing profession like any other profession then communication of financial information we have already discussed what is financial information it's not enough that you keep track of financial information it has to be intimated or communicated to all the interested groups who are interested with this information sometimes maybe the performance of an organization is not just the matter of the businessman or it is a matter even the state or what we call government is also requires such information why because we say a country's national income whose concept you might have studied in economics as a result we say if you know the financial information pertaining to organizations the state has multiple functions to do maybe it wants to compute the national income of the country maybe it wants to reform some tax policy maybe it wants to evolve or fix the rates for income tax etc etc so we can say the information is not just communicated to one person the businessman maybe there are several people in the society also who are interested at large with the financial information so it has to be communicated so this accounting communicates the financial information to all interested parties now moving on to what we say bookkeeping and also we said accounting coming to what is bookkeeping you can say bookkeeping is the basic level activity or you can say it is exactly where the accounting begins now what is bookkeeping it is called as art of recording business transactions it is art of recording business transaction now what is a transaction exactly transaction involves exchange between two parties that is the business and an outsider or the business and an employee and whatever is the exchange it has to be always measured in terms of currency of the economy in which your business operates so it is concerned with recording of transactions so the only main function that is performed by bookkeeping is what we say recording of business transactions now moving on to what is accounting you can say this word accounting no doubt encompasses the word recording etc in such a way now at the same time you say accounting is concerned with mainly maintenance of financial records results of operations and ascertainment of what we say as financial position now maintaining of records may be the basic transactions may be the uh, statements of profit and loss may be some 
you can say you will also see the basic documents like voucher etc etc and also the results of operations the results of operations are always spoken in terms of what we say profit or loss at the same time ascertainment of financial position now when you conduct your business sorry when you conduct your business you always need some resources resources are the items what you use your business to generate what we say revenue it is through revenue ultimately you are going to earn your pro or profit or make a loss if there are insignificant revenues now financial position is therefore concerned with what we say resources of business which are expressed in terms of currency and at the same time it also gives you the information from where these resources have been obtained basically later you will be seeing two words called what we say debit credit always we use these two terms in accounts and we have to refer the financial information in terms of i recording classifying etc we talk about the words debit and credit this debit is nothing but it is representing the business resources it is representing the business resources and credit is nothing but it is representing the source of this resources which the business owns so later on in detail we'll discuss this debit and credit aspects of this topic accounting or etc now moving on to the basic definitions of accounting there are several definitions of accounting given by several organizations or authors but the more popular one or the one with which encompasses most of the accounting activities you can say is given by what we say AICPA AICPA refers to American Institute of Certified Public Accountants now this is AICPA has given a very popular definition of accounting what it is say accounting is concerned with recording of business transactions classifying and summarizing in a significant manner transactions and events which in part at least are of financial in nature and it also deals with interpretation of results thereof i repeat it is the american institute of certified public accountants defines accounting as the art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner in terms of money business transactions and events which in part at least are of financial in character and and interpreting the results thereof now you can later on see what is this recording classifying summarizing of transactions and events as we proceed now moving ahead we will discuss what is this accounting process so having discussed all this you would have understood that the word bookkeeping and according are one not one and the same whereas you can see bookkeeping involves only a simple activity whereas accounting encompasses or consists of more activities now let us assume, let us see as this accounting process as input process and output mechanism now in accounting process the input is mostly what we call as business transactions the business transaction so all this business transactions should be are of monetary in nature monetary in nature means whatever is happening in the situation it has to be expressed in terms of the ruling currency or a common currency of measurement used in accounting now what in the process so when we say process there are different set of activities that are performed at different stages usually in a sequential order 
so these activities or accounting activities are what we say identifying recording classifying classifying summarizing classifying summarizing then reporting then analyzing then interpreting now let us discuss each of this activity individually before that all these activities ultimately generate some information what we call usually as financial information which you can say is the output of this whole accounting process now at the same time this information generation of information is of no use when it is not communicated most of the time the information so generated is communicated to what we say as users the users of accounting information may are many not only just the organization or its employees it could be government it could be some agencies in the society it could be some statutory bodies etc etc now what is identifying when you say identifying there are a number of events which involve exchange of things but whenever there is any exchange possibly it has to be in monetary terms to be called as a accounting transaction so of the existing many transactions which is accounting transaction you will help you will identify through the process of what we say identifying so this is the stage where you identify your transactions what are exactly useful for accounting what are not useful for accounting so this is what we say is the identifying stage now recording now recording of accounting transaction is usually done in what we call as a journal you will be learning that later now recording means after you have identified the transaction as a business transaction the items involved in it in terms of money are suitably recorded in the particular formats uh, in the terms of what we say debit and credit so that is the function of what we say recording it is a basic level activity now further we have what we call classifying now classifying is a stage or it is involves the set of activities wherein by the information that is obtained from the recording stage is gathered at one place so you in classifying exactly you are grouping similar items or uh, similar items at one place you are grouping similar transactions at one place rather you can say now summarizing now classifying is the stage where we group the information which is similar and related to one particular head what we call as an account now this information is then summarized summarizing is the stage where you uh, balance the information generated by the classifying and we obtain what we call as ledger balances this ledger balances are then uh, you can say positioned as uh, debit balances and credit balances in a statement called trial balance now this trial balance is also one of the chapters for you and basically trial balance is prepared in order to check the arithmetical accuracy of the accounts prepared by you then coming to reporting once the once the information is uh, you say summarized then this information is further processed into two statements financial statements what we call popularly as a profit statement and or income statement and position statement the income statement is a financial statement which helps you to determine whether the organization has made profit 
or loss the profit statement or income statement helps you to determine whether the organization has made profit or loss while the financial position can be determined by what we call as position statement and this both are the product of what we say reporting now once this reporting or you have found out your financial position and profit then the next activity is called analysis now through analysis you are trying to interpret through analysis you are trying to interpret what is hap sorry through analysis you are trying to find out or what we say uh, you are trying to establish some meaningful relationships between the various items of the statements what you have generated in the reporting stage for example you prepare a profit and loss statement and financial statement then you are trying to let us assume you have earned a profit of 50000 and your financial resources used in this process and as a businessman you have contributed let us say some 1 lakh and you have generated profit of 20000 so for investment of 1 lakh you have generated a profit of 20000 so what you might take some standard measurements or uh, standard these things like percentages ratios etc and you establish this relationships now next stage is what we call as interpreting in the interpretation you are giving explanation uh, of the relationships that you have established or you found out during the analysis and it this interpretation helps the users of accounting information to take several decisions such as whether to invest in a particular organization or not whether to continue to be part of a particular organization whether to sell away the shares etc they have etc etc so this is what we say is happening in the various what you say as activities that are part of your accounting process which ultimately generate information to end users of accounting now this let us see now what is accounting cycle so this process whatever we have activities whatever we are listed in that a few form what we say accounting cycle for example the first what accounting starts with what we call as journal journal is a record of business transactions in terms of debit and credit on a day to day basis this journal later you will see is further classified into simple journal and special journal simple journal is used when transactions are few whereas special journals are used by when transactions are more or by big business organizations now ledgers ledgers already we discussed whatever is information recorded in journal is collected similar information relating to a particular head is collected in ledgers then after preparation of ledgers we hold we will also balance the ledgers and then move on to trial balance and i already discussed what a trial balance is from the trial balance prepared we find out or we prepare financial statements what we call income statements and balance sheet so this process of this four stages comes to an end when financial information is uh, statements are prepared now after preparation of this financial statements we say the accounting cycle of a particular period has come to an end and again for the next period we again restart the process so you can say accounting cycle is a continuous process till a particular business exists now moving on to what is accountancy it is not same accounting and accountancy are not one and the same rather you can say accountancy is the theoretical aspect of these signs whereas 
you can say accounting is the practical application of this body of knowledge so as a body of knowledge over a period of time this accountancy has given under the body of knowledge some principles what we say some rules some concepts etc etc which are applied by what we call the people who perform this accounting process now let us also see the differences between what is bookkeeping and accounting now whereas bookkeeping it involves only one activity that is recording of business transactions whereas accounting involves bookkeeping also other activities like classifying summarizing reporting analyzing and interpreting the results thereof now moving on to the second difference bookkeeping is mostly the activity which is performed by the people who are called clerks you can say and it is performed on regular or a continuous basis when it comes to accounting you can say it is performed by what you call as accountants and you can say it is not done on day to day basis it is done on periodical basis maybe some information or some processing is done on monthly basis some information and some process is generated at quarterly or half yearly or on annual basis now next the one of the activities of bookkeeping is maintenance of the records systematically you have several records records relating to your cash record relating to your what you say is a sales record relating to purchases etc whereas the accounting activity is mostly concerned with final preparation of financial statements mostly it is concerned with preparation of financial statement wherein by we have income statement and also we have our position statement so this is the activity that is the which gives two important financial statements that is income statement and what we say position statement generally the accounting staff the people who have higher level knowledge monitor and supervise the work of bookkeeping staff whereas you can say bookkeeping staff do not you have do not have any role in so uh, supervising or guiding the accounting staff we say bookkeeping consists of mostly junior level staff mostly entry level job it is people with limited account well, academic knowledge you can say and they are not highly qualified whereas accounting people are higher have a higher qualification and they are more specialized with reference to the theories rules conventions concepts of accounting